Oh, hello. I didn't notice you there. Content creators are always looking for new ways to wow and captivate audiences. And recently, the best way to do that has been through 3D. 3D movies, 3D video games, even 3D amusement park rides have been growing and growing in the entertainment world and they're just getting more and more popular as time goes on. But is 3D technology actually something new? Well, the answer might surprise you. Now, in order to look at the history of 3D technology, first, we have to look at how it's made. And the best way to do that is by looking at stereoscopic vision. Now, unlike the mythical Cyclops, humans actually have two eyes, and these eyes will help us see the world from two different angles and two slightly different perspectives. And these two perspectives, when melded together by our brains, can actually make us have depth perception. They can help us see how far away something is. Now we use this skill a lot in our life. If you want to tell how far away a train is, using depth perception can help you figure out whether the train's really small and just really close by, or the size of a train and just very far away. Sucks for you, Cyclops! So now, let's go back in time to 1838 to a man known as Sir Charles Wheatstone. Now, Wheatstone was one of the first inventors to take the already known information about stereoscopic vision and to turn it into the first three-dimensional pictures. But those pictures weren't quite as slick as what we know today. About the size of your dining table, two different mirrors would be placed in the center at different angles. Each of these mirrors would be reflecting an image of the same subject from a slightly different perspective in each one. The two images would get merged together, and the optics of this, along with stereoscopic vision of humans, would create the first three-dimensional image. This image really wowed audiences of the time, and it further inspired inventors to keep improving on three-dimensional technology. Wow, aren't these an old classic? as well as being super, super stylish. These glasses also have a lot of science behind them. Let's go check some of that out. Whoa, that was strange. Well, if you guys look at this moon with the naked eye, it might look pretty confusing. That's because there's two different images, a blue moon and a red moon, that are almost overlapping perfectly. But if you put on these 3D lenses, you'll actually start to see them combine into one three-dimensional image. Now, this technology is called Anaglyph 3D, and it works because the blue lens will block out the blue moon, and the red lens will block out the red moon. So when I look at this, each different eye only is getting one image and one moon, and our brain is combining those two moons, and it's spinning out one image that looks three-dimensional. Although three-dimensional technology has come in many different forms over time, conceptually, everything's remained roughly the same, from these anaglyph 3D lenses to polarizing lenses, which will actually let in different patterns of light in each eye, to virtual reality headsets, which will have a different display in each eye. Ooh. Ooh, you don't look too good. Well, different display in each eye. So, 3D technology will continue to change over time. Speaking of time, oh god, it's almost time for my movie. Uh, okay, how do I get there? That, why didn't that work? It worked last time. Oh, guess I'll just have to go there myself. Whew, I almost made it. You know, experiencing 3D and learning about it are two very different things. And here at the New York Hall of Science, we have a theater where you guys can see a bunch of different three-dimensional movies. So, in the meantime, I hope you guys keep enjoying the world in the 3D that we're all born with. And I hope I've given you guys a little more knowledge and a little more depth on the topic. <laughs>